Now having the season changed. The early March spring days are just a distant memory at this stage. Back then, back then when every field was covered in slurry. Cows were out happy grazing. Not making a mess. It's only three weeks ago, but it seems like a long time ago now. Winter has eventually came after spring this year. Snow first, as you've seen in the last video, and then torrential rain every day since. And cows are out the last three or four days for, for three hours because they have been after the snow that time and milk dropped in litres and in, and in solids and it's very important to get the, the milk right for the springtime for early lactation so um, right this is the fourth day out no sorry one two three third day out now out is only for as I said three or four hours they're going in now, here's them here beside me, they're going in now this minute, it's only half twelve in the day and they're going in because um, well, they want to go in for a start and they have enough grass yet to do them a little bit of grass in the diet to keep them going there's, there's the paddock there was, was, was yes and the day before they were split down the middle just at that three and this was Sunday, and this was yesterday's. Today is Tuesday, and uh, that's it. As, as I said, out for four hours and back in again. And this, the, this, this is on the dry paddocks of the farm. This is the rocky land where, where we were grazing now. Like I was eating the ordinary, we we'll say, heavy soil paddocks two weeks ago, no problem at all. But it, it just came too good too soon. But the matter, we'll have to just put up with it. Come on, girls. Only last twice to get to go. Come on, let's go. I found the ball up. Come on, come on. But soon the ball will get now. Come on. Actually, it didn't look bad here. Of course, it's going to be marked, but it's not that bad. You can't even bring anyone up for Jane Harry, I wouldn't know it. Just tomorrow's allocation. It really depends on the second when I get these cows out the field first.
Here we are a few days later and it's still raining. It's just downpouring down there. I saw there a few minutes ago and it just thundered down at the heaven. You think the rain was going to fashion and it came back quick. But anyway, as you can see, this is here. When I bought this other spreader back a month ago, so I done a deal on, on two spreaders. Uh, this one as well, the quad spreader. It's a turn driven Cosmo PTB560. The reason being, this land I have down the road about half a mile and it's wet each land and the land I have further away that I cut cytogen is dry land and I can never sew them both together which means I can never cut both of them together so I mean I end up putting the long drawing in the pit and then the, the shorter drawing in the bales so the thinking was that if I could get me long draw fed with the tractor spreader and my short draw bed with me quad spreader on around the same time cut all together and throw it in the pit and then I could do a third cut with the long draw with with bales instead of third cut in the pit. Same amount of stuff, same amount of bales, just a totally different way. The reason that is because top of that pit, you can see it there, there's a black line across it. Don't mind that dirt piece, just so that that channel is blocked, have to clear it out tomorrow. Um, top of that pit, there's a black line across it, and that's that is the third cut side and it's coming in black and in the same last year so I'm better off with my third cut in the bale that's me thinking of buying this also for wet pallets for cows and go out for the cows of even them say six five half five six o'clock on the I'm going to quad out for the cows anyway so throw me two or three bags of stuff go out with me quad Spread the field and the cows at the same time. That's me, me thinking. So look at from here because whenever I get it, it has to be leveled off here. I see this top click like some thing here has to be leveled off to, to, to find the quite level on the road, whatever on a flat field or flat surface. So um, whenever I get stuff into it and I get it to a paddock, I'll show you more. Now it's the next week. Eventually the weather took up well, temporary. Yesterday was Sunday, the day I had the tractor on my head in the last video, and obviously today is Monday, and the two days was actually dry. So I'm going to chance the quad spreader with a couple of bags of urea at the palace cows of it. See how it goes. Um, the rocky paddocks should be able to bring small loads out in the quad better. Get a wee, get a wee bit of fertilizing done. So see how it goes. I'll look up now and I'll fill her up and see how it goes. I had to leave the camera in there to get charged up for a while it was going flat. So when that was being done, I, I, I mentioned this top link thing here to leave the spread on level. And I folded the bracket to this lot. But I should have actually studied it better, but it's okay for now, this time, but I should not have it over here because the writing is on this side of it. I thought you could, you could use this as a stopper to uh, stop it from going back, but you can't. Just, you just move it to the number that you wanted to. You have to actually see the number when you open the spreader to go and stop it. So I'll probably just keep him tightening it right. I'll probably it'll do for now, but I'll have to just um the next day I'm, I'm, I'm out get a self to pass out the quad with this right in face of me. I won't even do a couple of paddles then, it'll be fine. But you learn as you go on these things.
That's it, that's the first bit I worked on with, with the new quads, brother. I do like it. Very impressed with, with the way, with them paddocks for the time of year are saturated. And the, them dry paddocks, like. I mean, where'd you go with the wet paddocks, but. Couldn't do it with a tractor or a spreader. But uh, literally having the spreader, you, you make a mess. There's nothing that much worth it. Worth a damn, I don't know the quad was part of nothing. The quad sunk a bit in a few places, but I mean, it kept going, it didn't stick, go down, it didn't spin. The blue wheels and the white wheel bases are great to open this but it didn't do any hassle at all. I mean, across hills, there was downhills with it, and, and that was rocky ground, and it was, it was sticky, and it was, it was tramped. But I mean, it got the job done with no hassle. Yeah, I have to get this thing here set properly, it's just not right. Over here, as I said earlier on. Apart from that, like, um, another fault I had this lever up on here, the gear, it's ground driven. And this is his new hit bump on the pop out the gear. Why I do not know, but apart from that, um, happy. The only fault I have is, is, is like I said earlier on, you just can't set this thing, you don't think that it's stop itself. You just have to watch what you're doing with, with, with the pointer on the, with the number. But apart from that, I can't really fault the machine. I'm happy with it so far. His maiden voyage was, was a success anyway. And uh, I know it was only probably less than half full with, 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 with fertilizer, but I mean, there was no pull on the quad. You would know behind you. Most steady actually when it's empty, when it's full. It bounces off when it's full, off when it's empty. Most steady when it's full, sorry, when it's empty. Bounce a good bit when it was empty. Like you couldn't go by and bring a the car or a van on the road because you'd, you'd have it in bits. You'd probably lose it eventually. So that's it for now. Time to put it away and, and make a feed the calves the evening chores or just around the corner. Um, that was a few days ago. I'm now at the weekend and I'm spreading for a, a client that uh, up in Killing Care, not far from my own farm. I'm 40 acres there with Urea, so I'm just way back. I didn't fit a man in another man's property, but sure, um, if you've seen a walk of young, young girl, it's the same thing. So look at it, it's good. I'm happy with it. It really suits the wet year because you can go places where you wouldn't go. I hope you're going to like them. So all oh, is good. Probably the rest of the week now I'll be spending it bringing me undone outside the train because it'll give it a few good days from everything coming in. So we'll have to take it from there. Take one day at a time. So we'll leave it for today's video. Look at it. We'll um, talk soon again. Thank you for watching.